The Kalitsia SV is the first self-propelled artillery system that uses artificial intelligence to lock onto targets at distances of up to 70 kilometers. In late May 2020, the Russian Armed Forces received its first shipment of upgraded Russian artillery systems, the Kalitsia SV. These metal monsters were developed with the express purpose of destroying large, heavily armored enemy weapons far beyond the front line. A system of this sort can fire 10 152mm rounds at a target 70 kilometers or 43.5 miles away, turning it into a heap of metal, including tanks, artillery, mortar, and even anti-aircraft systems. What makes this Russian artillery system unique? The Houtzer is operated by three crew members, the driver, gunner, and commander. The driver is seated in the center, in the middle of the hull, while the gunner and commander are seated on either side. Three hatches are provided for emergency exit of the crew. The all-wielded steel hulls offers protections from mines, small arms fire, and shell splinters. Features of the Houtzer include warning receiver, night vision, microwave shell priming system, nuclear, biological and chemical, NBC protection system, and shock absorber. The 2S35 Kalitsia SV uses components of the T90 MBT chassis motorized with a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. The suspension is of the torsion bar type, with either side having six road wheels, idle rat the front, drive procket at the rear, and five tank return rollers, with the upper part of the track being covered by a skirt. According to the commander of Russia's missile and artillery forces, Lieutenant General Mikhail Metyevsky, the new artillery system is a solid step toward the robotization of military equipment, with today's key objectives revolving around greatly boosting long-distance precision. The deviation radius of the Kolitsia is about 1-2 meters, Professor Vadim Kozulin of the Russian Academy of Military Sciences says. Operating at a 70-kilometer range, the weapon resembles a sniper rifle, just as precise and deadly. Further to his words, the system is the first artillery weapon that could provide armor for the crew. The soldiers sit in a special armored capsule inside the outer shell. The actual firing tower remains unmanned and padded with more armor, offering additional protection for the crew. Meanwhile, the projectiles are loaded automatically with the aid of a specially designed conveyor, launching high-explosive shrapnel shells one after the other. The Kolitia has some serious ammunition. Aside from the high-explosive shrapnel shells, it boasts cluster, even armor-piercing shells with laser input coordinates during travel. The latter are called Krasnopol and were developed specifically for the Kolitia. The Kolitia's special feature is the ability to raise its cannon to a 45-degree incline allowing the self-propelled gun to shoot mortar over tall obstacles. This way, the Houtzer is able to fire on both seen and unseen targets from a concealed position, as well as directly and on mountainous terrains. The artillery crew is able to punch in coordinates into Kolitsia's computer that don't only come from their spotters, but also radioed in from a drone. Such data is input automatically, and the gun then locks onto the target on its own, the expert says. The Kolitsia can use a variety of satellite tracking systems to receive coordinates, including GLANOS and GPS, as well as store up to 10 sets of coordinates in memory, firing on them automatically. 